That doesn't count. Black that out of your memory. That one doesn't count. Yo, Chai, thank you for the prime. This is attempt 11 again. That, that one doesn't count. That wasn't a real attempt. I died to not having my fucking hand on the keyboard. I don't really consider that actually dying. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chai, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Gen 1. Okay. Attempt 11-2. It's just like Final Fantasy. Except there isn't an 11-2. There was a 10-2 and a 12-2, but only one 11. Well, yeah, nobody remembers the 11-1. It's just like Final Fantasy. Because it was bad. Okay, uh, Gen 1. Alright, so I lose a sub. So I'm at 5, and I lose a sub for every question I ask. What is its type? Yeah, later, Snuck. Have a good one. I appreciate it. Mono normal. Oh, that really narrows it down. Fuck me. All right. Um. Fuck it. I'm sending it. It's Porygon. Just without a shadow of a doubt, it's Porygon. Full send, baby. No, I fuck me. <laughs> okay, well. Listen, it was worth it. You know, you gotta respect the full send. Gen 1 mono normal. Snorlax. Alright, it's Snorlax. Cool. Alright, Logan. Guess your Gen 1 favorite? I got you. Hmm, what type is it? Hey, JFP, thank you for the three. I appreciate it. Should I buy a 36 pack of Hershey's? You want to send me some? I could use some chocolate. What's your address? <gasps> Don't you know what my address is? I thought you've sent me something before. I swear. Maybe not. It's water from Gen 1. Okay. Is it mono water or is it a dual type water type? I know that does not really narrow it down, but just want to know for posterity. Who knows? It could be Polyrath. I'm just going to full send it, honestly. Single tap. I'm gonna full send it. It's Blastoise. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I can't believe they really got away with that Pokemon's name actually just being fucking sealed. <laughs> it's Magikarp. Ah, that's respectable. I respect a Magikarp favorite.
My favorite is the only T3 evolution of its type pairing. So the only three stage fully evolved Pokemon of its type pairing. I'll prime sub if you can guess it in two questions that aren't its type. All right, what generation is it? Gen 3. Okay. Three stage evolution with a unique type. Could be. Hmm. Okay. Let me just go through all of them real fast. So it's none of the starters. Those are all not unique. It's not Altaria. It's not Flygon. I am unfamiliar if there's another Psychic Fairy. There might be, but that could be unique. So it might be Gardevoir. Um, it is not Salamence. It's not Metagross. thinking about another psychic fairy type. Uh, Tapu Lele is very psychic. And, uh... Okay, I don't think there's another Grass Dark, so it could be Shiftry. There's also not a three-stage Water Grass, other than Ludicolo. So, I'm gonna go with, uh, my second... My second question that you've allowed me is... What's the first letter of its name? M. He's a, you've already ruled it out. M. What? Oh. Oh, it is Metagross. Okay. I... Huh. Sorry, I... For some reason, my bro The way I processed your hint was different than what you actually said. Yes, it's the only third stage Psychic Seal. For some reason, I was thinking, was it the only... I, like, went through Metagross and thought that fucking... I forgot Bronzong is only stage two. Soul Galeo. That doesn't count. Nah, nah, nah. That doesn't really... I don't think that counts. I mean, you were wrong also, because you said Shiftry, which is wrong. Meow Scarred as Grass Dark. <laughs> I wasn't considering that. I don't think anybody was considering that. I guess it technically counts, but...
I'm actually curious. I, I haven't... I don't know this for myself. What, uh... Love my steel How does types. the game decide what soul or what fucking Cosmo M evolves into in games that are not Sun and Moon? Yeah, Master Chef, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Still based off the game, gotcha. Jesus, I, I think this is the first time I've ever seen anybody in the history of ever consider Sol Galio a stage three. I, I guess, I guess that's true. That's technically true. I just, I don't really count it in my mind. See, this is why we don't, uh, we don't include Gen 7. Ew, stinky Gen 7. Ruining everything. All right, QB. Sure. What generation? Gen 4? All right, what type? Gen 7's okay. It's pretty good. Grass? All right, is it dual grass or pure grass? Pure grass, all right. Oh god, pure grass from fucking Gen 4? Uh, so there's Turtwig. Is Grottle grass ground? Grottle's grass ground, right? Yeah, so just Turtwig. Uh, it could be Turtwig. Could be Cherubi, I think. Is that stupid thing's fucking name? That evolves into Cherum. Take the L. I'm not the one taking the L. <laughs> that was it was it wasn't even my L to take. I had the right answer, which was Ludicolo. I was the only one who had the correct answer. The only other person who said Ludicolo also said Shift Tree, which is not correct, because Meow Scared as Grass Dark. So I I had the right answer. It wasn't my L. <laughs> Zarud, it's the Zarud is in a three stage. We're only three stages where we were talking about. All right, QB, third question. What's the first letter of its name? C. God, it is fucking Cherubi, isn't it? Uh, shit. I'll go with Cherim. Yeah. That is Cherubi? All right, cool. I got hit with a 50-50. It's not Shruby or Cherim. Wait, what? Huh? Carnivine? There's no way your favorite Pokemon is fucking Carnivine. You're doing favorites? Yes, we were doing favorites. Santa! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. 
Yeah, you're out here trying to trick me. Okay, if it was doing any, then of course I would have fucking thought of Carnivine, but I didn't consider that because who the hell has Carnivine as their fucking favorite Pokemon? It's having like Lumineon as your favorite. It's all those Gen 4 forgettables. You were gonna try to prank me into saying Maractus. All right, Milk, you're on. What generation? I thought Carnivine was Gen 3. You're thinking of Cacturn. All right, Gen 3. Uh, what type? Pure water. Okay, pure water. Now we're cooking. Okay, could be Mudkip, not Marsh Stomper, Swamper, just specifically Mudkip. Could be Whalmer, could be Whalord. Could be Gorbis, could be Clam Pearl. Could be Huntail if you're weird. Um Maybe it's fucking Kyogre. Everybody ruled out Kyogre. Uh My Milotic and Feebas as well. Making sure I cover every single one of my options. Okay. A what is the first letter of its name? Yo, it's a Mahomies. That's my final question. Think. Oh, wait, fuck. All right, here's the read. They, them pronouns, pink username, Milotic. Easy read, easy read coming up here. I just had to get Waylord. All right, QB, your actual fucking favorite this time instead of fucking Carnivine, you cheating bitch. What's my favorite Mon? Isn't it Sylveon? I thought we've been over those. All right, QB, what generation? It's question number one. Gen 7? What the fuck? What is with you people in Gen 7? By the way, notice that out of all of these questionnaires, nobody said Gen 9 because it's the most new. Only a couple of people said Gen 1. A lot of people said Gen 2 and Gen 3 and Gen 4. A couple of Gen 5s. Not a soul has said 6. None of you. There's a reason for that. It's because Gen 6 fucking sucks. Uh, anyway. Alright, what type is it? Delphox was Gen 6. That wasn't favorite Pokemon, though. It is a normal. Is it pure or a dual normal type? A dual normal type. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to go ahead. I, I think I know what it is, but I'm just going to go ahead and ask. What's its second type? That's my third question. If you say dragon, I know what it is. Fighting. Normal fighting from Gen 7. Uh, that's beware, right? Isn't that the only answer? I'm just making sure Passimian isn't normal fighting type, right? Isn't Passimian pure fighting type? The 
Stuffle is possible. I thought Stuffle was just pure uh, normal type. All right, Toasty, you're on. Generation. Six? Oh, man. Oh, hey, yo, we got a sixer. All right, what type? Fairy. Is it pure fairy or mono fairy? Uh, sorry, is it mono fairy or dual fairy? I said I asked the same thing. That's just that was just okay. It's pure fairy. Okay, well that gives us Xerneas, Sylveon, uh, is Floor just pure? F it. I always forget if Florge is his grass type. The Flovebe line is pure fairy. What the fuck? Why? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, watch it be fucking a robot's east. <laughs> Alright. My final question is, does it evolve? And if it does, what stage is it? It does first stage. Okay. So we got Flabebe. Slurpuff? <laughs> is, is Spritzy, what type is fucking Spritzy? Is pure fairy, okay. So Spritzy. Not Slurpuff. Slurpuff's the evolution. Swirlix is what evolves into it, right? Yeah, okay. Swirlix, Spritzy, and Flabebe. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Swirlix, is my final answer. Incorrect. All right, what is it? Is it Flabebe? It is Flabebe, all right. Favorite Pokemon is Flabebe. Huh. Uh, I gotta admit, that is one I've never heard before. Congratulations on being the first person I've ever met who has Flabebe as their favorite Pokemon. Yo, Loki, think of the good luck. Do you want to try guessing my least favorite? All right, your least favorite. All right, what generation? You're on, Rez. Gen 4, but the line is initially from a different generation. Okay, so it's one of the Gen 4 evolutions or baby Pokemon. What type is it? Say bug so I can get this over with right now. Heart grass. Okay. Uh, part a, a dual type grass that involves another generation in its evolution line. All right, so it's not Tangrowth. It's 
It's not Roserade. Because that's pure grass. Wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. Just double checking. Badoo is... Oh, it's grass poison. Hold on a minute. Pause. I for I thought I forgot that it was poison type. Now I knew Roserade wasn't pure grass. I just thought Badoo and Rose uh, I thought Badoo was. I know Rosalia isn't, and I definitely know Roserade is poison type because it's a toxic spike setter slash absorber. Okay. So it could be Badoo. In fact, I think it has to be Badoo. What else can it fucking be? Because it isn't Tangrowth. Is it Brendo? Uh, da, da. Okay. You know what? I'll just make sure. For my third and final question, what is the second type? I think I've already got this one on lock, but let's just double check. Poison. All right. Rose Ray, uh, not Rose Ray, sorry. Badoo is my final answer. If you say it's Rose Raid, I swear to fucking God, there's no way nobody likes. How do you dislike Rose Raid? There's, no, there's no way it's Rose Raid. It's definitely Badoo. And you know what? TPH, I agree. Fuck Badoo. That thing's cry is so annoying. Stupid ass friendship evolution, daytime only, and it has the most annoying cry ever. When everybody sends a <laughs> shut up. Alright, chat, how about y'all try to figure out what my least favorite Pokemon is? Hi everyone, guess it'll be extra gay next month. Y'all have three questions. What generation? Seven. Typing. It is part fighting type. All right, chat, you gotta agree on what the third question you wanna answer is. What's the other type? Y'all got it. It's Crabominable, yes. Absolutely fucking putrid waste of a slot. One of the worst designs of all time. Genuinely a, a horrible from every conceivable angle. Absolutely fucking worthless in single player. Terrible competitively. Awful design. Awful typing. Worse. Like, it's like not even good at ZU, bro. Absolutely the most worthless mon they've ever come up with. Easily. I had on my team and son. Yeah, have fun not being able to evolve it until Victory Road. <laughs> oh my god. What a disaster. And I think the biggest thing was that they they hyped it up when they announced it as being it was going to have a meta game impact in competitive Pokemon. I remember they announced Crabrawler and said this thing it's going to be huge and competitive and has an evolution and it's fucking worthless. It's so bad. 
<laughs> like, it has 43 speed. 43. And it's made of glass. Why? 43 speed with only 67 special defense and 77 defense. That's awful. With ice and fighting type, it's vulnerable to fucking everything. Maybe if it was some sort of, like, fast sweeper, but no, it's got 43 speed. I don't like any Pokemon that resembles a crab. Dude! No, 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 no. Okay, resembles a crab. I think Kingler is fine. But technically, this doesn't resemble a crab. It's a lobster. But Crawdont? That's my boy. Corfish kind of looks like a crab. Maybe I know it's supposed to be a, a crawfish. Crawdont is my boy. Is this attempt 12? Yes. That boy walks in there with its adaptability boosted knockoff and just says, fuck it, you're dead, and you die. Crawdon enters the room, says, it's Crawdonton time, and then Crawdon's off out of all those guys. It's like using Bisharp, except cooler, because it's a fucking lobster. What is my favorite shiny? Oh, God. Would you like to ask three questions about what my favorite shiny Pokemon is? Or generation four. What color? Oh, that's cheating. What's a special attack stat? <laughs> What type? It is part ghost type. Is it a legendary? Hmm. I'm not gonna answer that. There is one particular Pokemon that back in my day, there was a debate as to whether or not it counted as a legendary. So I'm not gonna answer that question. Gets up slippy. Other type? <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I had you guys going off. Yes, it's Giratina. <laughs> I had you guys going on the fucking. I had you guys going off the deep end. <laughs> Giratina shiny is fucking incredible. Whoever decided to give it negative colors is a, is a genius. Anyway, there was a long-standing debate back when I was a kid as well whether or not Rotom counted as a legendary Pokemon or not. Uh, the answer is obviously no now. It can fucking breed. But um, back in the day, 
is a little bit more nebulous. I've always been on the side of saying it is not a legendary. I was always correct from day one. Anybody who said otherwise was incorrect. They just took a couple of years to prove them wrong. I was debating answering the ability. Doesn't Spiritomb have also have pressure? It would have been really funny to say pressure and everybody's like, Giratina! I'm like, no, it's fucking Spiritomb. <laughs> Get pranked. Could it not breed in Diamond and Pearl? I don't think Rotom could breed in Diamond and Pearl, no. I believe that was added later. I could be wrong about that. Rotom could always breed? I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure that was added later. But I don't quite remember. It can breed in Diamond and Pearl? I swear I tried. I don't know, this is like the fucking Metagross thing all over again. I remember not being able to breed Metagross, but apparently you've always been able to breed it. I guess it just had really, really, really long egg cycles. Okay, that's actually a good one. I'll ask I'll ask the chat. What do you guys think my very first shiny Pokemon was? It's abduckable. Gyarados does not count. So let's just let's put that one to bed. Gar the shiny Gyarados doesn't count. All right, ask away, chat. Ask three questions. I will answer three questions. Uh, guaranteed shiny slash event legendaries don't count. I'm talking full odds, shiny in the wild. Generation three. Favorite food? How the fuck do I supposed to know that? What typing? It is at least part dark. I will not say if it is mono or singular, but it is part dark. I will not say if it's mono or dual. What route? Ooh, ooh, that's a tough one. That, that answer would give it away, so. That's a good question. <laughs> Y'all still have another question. I'm not going to answer first letter and make it too obvious. Last letter? Let me think if that would make it too obvious. Uh... Yeah, I think that would also make it too obvious. Does it evolve? Yes, it evolves. So no, it's not Sableye. <laughs> God, I'll fucking imagine if it was Sableye, I'd be livid. Alright, that's all three of you that's all three of your questions, chat. It's not Absol. A lot of people guessed Absol, it is not Absol.
It has to be Poochiana, Carvana, or Nuzleaf. There is one that you may be ruling out. In fact, nobody said it. Not saying that's necessarily the answer. Let me just double check real fast. Okay, actually, never mind. I guess Cacnea is part is pure grass, so it couldn't be. It couldn't fit into my answers. I thought people were forgetting about Cacnea. Apparently, Cacnea is fucking pure grass. Weird. All right, chat. What do you guys think it is? Umbreon is a Generation 2 Pokemon, not a Generation 3 Pokemon. You seem to have narrowed it down to Poochiana, uh, Nuzleaf, and Carvana, I believe are your three answers that y'all have narrowed it down to. Can't find why at wild evolutions. Ah, uh, it technically could be a shiny Umbreon from the uh, from Colosseum, but no, it's not that. Duskull is pure grass. Why did you put it to a vote, chat? You seem to have narrowed it down to three options given the criteria. Non shadows and Colosseum are shiny locked. Oh, really? Hmm. That's lame. Shadow locking, stupid. So, again, it is at least part dark type. It can evolve, and it's from Gen 3. Sharpedo does not evolve. Well, I guess it can Mega evolve, but I'm not counting that. I'll tell you, it's not Sharpedo. <laughs> I don't even think you can catch a wild Sharpedo in Gen 3. <laughs> Maybe in the remakes. Houndour is from Gen 2. I didn't say that I caught it in a Gen 3 game. I said it was a Gen 3 Pokemon. That would be a hilarious answer if I said it was a gen from a from Emerald. It turns out it's fucking Safari Zone Hound Hour. No, it's not Safari Zone Hound Hour. Alright, you know what? We'll set up a poll for this. Why not? Let's go. You seem to have narrowed it down to three options, and I'll tell you, those three options. Do contain the answer. All right, let's see if Jack gets it right. <laughs> oh man oh man chat chat really doesn't think it's carvana huh that's crazy it's one of the most common pokemon running in water you guys really not voting for it voting for nuzleaf i'm pretty sure like wow wow nuzleaf isn't even very common
You got it right. It was indeed Fuchiana. Congratulations, chat. Good work. My very first shiny was a golden Puchiana that I found on the route below the bike the cycling road. I evolved it into a Mightyena and named it Gold Dog. It's a portmanteau of dog and gold. I still have it. To this day, it is in my Pokemon home file, uh, my Pokemon home box. And I still have it to this very day. Yo, Destructo! Thank you for the Prime, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a pretty fucking cool shiny. It's like a pure gold. It looked really cool in the original games. It doesn't look as cool in the 3 model, but it looked really cool in the original. It's golden. I would have loved if I found a shiny Carvana, TBH. If you get hit, do you have to restart? Yep. You found a shiny Carvana before you found Feebas. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that checks out. I'll tell you what, when the GTS was first a thing in uh, Diamond and Pearl, I made bank back in the day off of breeding my Milotic from Emerald that I had caught when I was a kid and evolved through arduous means. And I got so many good trades for Feebas because people just didn't know how to get it. Remember that the internet was a lot less prevalent back then. So it was a lot harder to figure out, like, hey, it's only on specific tiles in the basement lake of Mount Coronet on specific days, and it resets every day. So because of that, people would literally trade me so many good things for it. I got fucking legendaries for Feebas, bro. And I had an unlimited supply. I could just keep breeding my Milotic. I got that thing when I was a kid, bro. I, I suffered through the agony of fishing every fucking tile on that one route. I, I did two laps. I fished every tile on that, on that lake and did two laps. And I finally got it. It took like two and a half hours. Right, here's another good question, chat. What do you think is the shiny Pokemon that I found the most of? Again, Red Gyarados doesn't count. Which generation? Three. Type, it is at least part fighting type.
There's only four fighting types in Gen 3. Learn to count. And evolutions. Again, learn to count. Not counting starters with Evos, there are five. Well, there's six counting Blaziken. I don't know why you wouldn't count Blaziken. And combustions of seven, actually. It's up, Jack. How are the runs going? This one's going decent, decent with bar. All right, chat. You get one more question, so you know it's up. At least fighting type, and it's from Gen 3. This is the starter that I... Not the starter, sorry. The shiny that I have encountered the most. Okay, I got to the safe spot. Jeez. Fuck that attack, bro. What was the question? Issue, this is the shiny Pokemon I've run into the most. The chat has asked two of the three allotted questions. It's from Gen 3, and it is at least a fighting type. This is the shiny Pokemon I have the most of. Not necessarily, it could still be a shiny starter, so don't, don't rule that out. No chance as a starter. You don't know how many shiny Blazikins I might have. Can it evolve? Yes. I don't want to answer if it's a dual type or not. That makes it too obvious. Because that really narrows it down. It can evolve. Metatite. Going with Metatite? Machoke is Gen 1. It is in, it, that Pokemon is in Emerald, but it's it's a Gen 1 Pokemon. Metatite. Alright, chat is mostly saying Metatite. The answer is Makuhita. <laughs> Any Makuhita believers? Congratulations. I have four. Yes, I have run into four shiny Makuhitas. Now, here's the real question. Can anybody in chat guess which each of these was run into in a different version? Can you guess the four versions which I have run into my four shiny Makuhitas? If anybody gets this, I will be ridiculously impressed. And I'm counting individual versions here. So you could say Emerald, Ruby, or different, or different answers. Ruby, Platinum, Omega Ruby, and Violet. You have two out of four correct. Moon, Emerald, Platinum, Violet. You have one correct. version of Gen 6 did you play? X and Y are not the answers. Emerald, Platinum, Alpha, Sapphire, Black. I've never played Alpha, Sapphire. Emerald, Y, Platinum, and Omega Ruby. You have two correct.
Ruby, Black, Violet, Omega Ruby. You once again have two of them correct. Emerald, Omega Ruby, Ruby Platinum. You have three of the four correct. Emerald, Ruby, Platinum, Violet. You have two of the four correct. Ruby, Emerald, Black, Omega Ruby. You got three out of four. Ruby, Emerald, Platinum, Diamond, two out of four. Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby, and Platinum, two out of four. Ruby, Emerald, Omega, Ruby, and Violet, you have three out of the four. All right, I'm gonna say it because not a single person has guessed the fourth game. Not a single one of you guessed it. The answer is Ruby, Emerald, Omega Ruby, and Colosseum. <laughs> Not a single person guessed Colosseum. Nobody. Not one of you. <laughs> yep, I caught a shiny Shadow Makuhita in Pokemon Colosseum. It is the only shiny I've ever gotten from those games. You hunted? It was natural. You cannot get shinies in XD, but you can get shiny shadow Pokemon in Pokemon Colosseum. XD shiny locks everything. Colosseum does, but then doesn't. It's very strange. It shiny locks it, but the problem is, is that when you catch, when you snag a Pokemon, it changes the, the, uh, the original trainer ID number from the in-game NPC to yours. And because of that, it does a recalculation. <laughs> So, because of a bug, it's possible to get shiny Pokemon in Colosseum. When you snag them, they won't appear to be shiny. It's only after the battle you'll find out. Deadass? I didn't notice it was a shiny until I sent it out in the next battle. And I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? <laughs> So yes, Ruby, Emerald, Omega Ruby, and Colosseum. I have run into Shiny Makuhita. <laughs> Three of them were in Granite Cave. <laughs> and not a single one was hunted for, by the way. I believe XD completely locks it. I don't remember if wild Pokemon can be shiny in XD, though. Uh, that sounds like an Amelia question. I wouldn't know that. I know that the shadow Pokemon are properly locked. They they should be in Colosseum as well. It's literally only because of a bug that they're even that it's even possible. Why was that one particular cross so fucking fast? What the hell? Yo, what's up, Gamer Squiddy? Good to see you. I am doing well. Sorry, I was clearing the Discord thing. The game isn't meant to have shiny Pokemon. Uh, basically, in that game, 
you don't catch wild Pokemon, you snag them from your from your enemies because they're like evil and they're enslaving these Pokemon. They're shiny locked for them, but when you snag a Pokemon, its ID number changes from the NPC to yours, and it gets recalculated for shiny odds because that goes into the shiny calculation. So it is possible to catch a, a non-shiny Pokemon and it will just magically fucking turn shiny when you have it. It's so funny. Hey, Rival. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Is the inverse possible? I don't think so. Because I'm pretty sure they, they are locked. So I don't think they can have a shiny Pokemon that you just steal and then it becomes not shiny. That'd be really funny, though. Okay, Wilds and XD are not. Okay, I wasn't sure about that. Wasn't until Gen 5 that Shiny was completely separated from those calculations? I believe so. There's either 5 or 6 that just made it a completely separate thing. In 1 and 2, it was dependent on IVs, and then 3 and 4, I know, were a bunch of other things. Namely, the personality value, which is derived from fucking everything. The personality value, or at least a certain digits of it, are also what controls what uh, Wurmple evolves into. They didn't exist in one. Yeah, but the calculation has done the same. Nope. Spyrush. Oh, this is not good. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with this. The spear attack is fucking crazy, though. That shit is hard to know it. They have janky hitboxes. Yeah, four shiny Makuhitas. I don't know, man. Universe just really wanted me to use Makuhita. I did use one on. I did use one of them on the team. I thought it was funny. This is your first attempt? No, not for today. My first attempt today got to core and then died. Good quad practice. ever been done before? A couple of people have done it, yeah. Just a handful. It's a very difficult challenge. Oh god, came from the bottom. I'm trying to jump scare me. Alright, I need to get one more. And we get the warrior's path. Thank you. 
Cookie dough ice cream is pog. Did I miscount? This feels very long. Let me just quickly verify that there's only four left. Okay, I didn't miscount. I, I guess I'm just not used to grinding at 30 fucking six. Oh my goodness gracious. The fucking frog hit jump scare. Onward to Sands. <laughs> Mr. Undertale. <laughs> Time to be nervous. Guys, my game's broken. I can't spare him. Holy Kungadero, is that a big shot just now? You never got the pan? I switched off of it. Ballet shoes have a faster attack cycle. I'm gonna go to the bathroom real fast. All right. It is sands time, baby. Fuck it, we're not saving. No save. We don't need a save file.
Watch out for his first attack. Oh, first attack's fine. I'm more concerned about his second attack, DVH. Hardest attack in the fight, no cap. Yeah, remember that I, I, when I when I did the love one challenge, I no-hit Sans first try? See, that's because there was no pressure. But now I have pressure. So that means I'm going to die on attack three. <laughs> Sans no-hit? I can do that. Sans no-hit after a whole fucking playthrough of not getting hit? Jesus. That's scary. Because of a bug, it's called hit storage, yeah. <laughs> Try to guess my favorite legendary Pokemon. Your mother. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that, Chris. Take care of yourself. Make sure to heal. Yeah, I really need the extra health. Oh, boy. Hardest attack in the fight coming up right here. PB, yeah, let's go. Take a moment. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's just take a moment, chat. Nice, zen, calm moment. Just collect yourself. Deep breaths. In and out.
Yeah! Woo! Let's go! Oh, yes. I did it, dude. Three have donated $92. What? <laughs> oh. Oh my god, my fucking heart is pounding, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> Yo. 3AT, thank you for the $92 issue. Thank you for the tier 10 tier ones. Wolfel, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Peachy with the gift sub. And Doppler with the gift sub. Thank you, guys. Oh, <laughs> I fucking did it, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. That's my bestie right there, G fucking G dude, Shay E love. Wolfel, thanks for the 500 bits. Cosmic with the 100. Palace Jade with the 300 as well. Ah, oh, there's the fucking genocide full playthrough. No damage. Woeful with a two as well. <laughs> Don't sleep on the goat, baby. Good, now I can fix my hair. <laughs> I didn't want my hair getting in my eyes, so I had it pulled back like a fucking headband. Whew. Dude, I don't think I've ever been that nervous on Laser Circle in my whole life. Oh, wow. Get out of here. I truly only need one HP, baby. Only need one. What's my fun value? It's 95. Just for proof that this was all done in one segment, just to make sure we're all good on that matter. Uh, I streamed the whole thing, but just to be double sure. Here's my Undertale save file. As you see, no file zero. Just file nine, which is the checkpoint file. All right, time to put this on YouTube and title it Undertale Genocide No Hit. First in the world. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Shay, Undertale is just better. 
Yo, bear thing for the seven months. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Ah, oh, take me, Kara. Dude, chat, today I woke up, I went to YouTube, I saw a video of mine got a copyright claim, and I was like, oh, great, one of my new videos? No, it was my 105.22 from like three to four years ago. I think four years ago, got claimed for Richad EB's cover of Megalovania, bro. YouTube on a, on a normal one. We did it. No hit genocide is finally done. <laughs> oh man. Wow. That's all I have to say is just wow, man. <laughs>